Hello all. Today in this class, we are going to deal with frequently asked questions in interviews. Yes, interviews plays a vital role in all our lives. It plays a vital role to get a job. So in this class, I am going to list out some of the frequently asked questions and how we are supposed to answer it. So let's begin. The first question self introduction the interviewer wants to know how far the candidates were able to introduce themselves in a better way interviewers will have a very good idea about you and where you are coming from because they will have your resume in their hand only after going through your resume they will be calling you for the interview but still why they are asking this question even after knowing all your details, they are asking your self-introduction. Why? Because the interviewer wants to judge your language fluency, your body language, your level of confidence, everything. So everything about you will be known in the very first question itself. How far you are able to introduce yourself flu fluently is without fumbling for words. So what are all the details we are supposed to include in self-introduction? So first impression is always a best impression. So in the very first question itself, you are supposed to impress the interviewer. So what are all the things we have to include in it? Let's see. For freshers, what are all the things a freshers must include? They have to start with their name, place, family details, educational qualification, and short term and long term goal. So name, when it comes to name, they can simply say, I am Brinda or I am Kavita. So no need to say my name is, just say I am Brinda or I am Kavita. Next, the place from where you are coming from. You can say I am Brinda from Coimbatore or I am Kavita from Chennai. This will do. Just in one simple sentence, you can include the details of both your name and place. Next, coming over to your family details, what are all the things you have to include? First, start with what your parents are doing. Yes, what your parents are. And next, about your siblings. Parents and siblings. More than enough to, in, to be included in family details. You can simply say, my father is a businessman and my mom is a homemaker. And I have two younger sisters. This, is, this will do. Next, coming over to your educational qualification, what are all the things you have to say in it? You might have got a distinction or rank in your 10th or 12th or you might have been uh, school first. No need to include everything in your educational qualification. So you have to just say some of your recent education qualification, the recent degree that you have got. You can simply say, I did my B.Sc. Chemistry at B.H. Anderson College, Virudhinagar. Or I did my B.Com at Layala College, Chennai. That will do. Your recent UG and PG course. That will speak about your entire academic career. Next, coming over to your short term and long term goal. How you are supposed to say it? First of all, we must know the difference between short term and long term. A goal which you are supposed to achieve in a short period of time is what we call as short term goal. A goal which you can achieve after a long period of time is what we call as long-term goal. For example, a fresher is joining in a college and what will be their aim is, what will be that particular student's aim is to get through a degree with good percentage. That will be their short-term goal. And what will be a person's long-term goal is to get a good job in a reputed company and to get the highest posting in it. This will be our long term goal which we can achieve only in our 30s and 40s. Only when we get into the age of 40s. So this is what we call as short term and long term goal. And this is very essential when it comes to self intro because you have to make the interviewer to understand how far you are leading a goal oriented life. So you have to start with your name, place family details, educational qualification and at the last your short term and long term goal. Next, what are all the things an experienced candidates should list out? Same thing, 
just for both fresher and experienced candidate they have to list out the same thing only two things they have to tell two more additional things what are this they are educational qualification next to education qualification they have to speak about their work experience and skill sets freshers they will have they will never have any work experience because they may not have worked anywhere but that is not the case with experienced candidates they might have worked in many reputed companies colleges institutions and organizations so they have to list out everything where they have worked how much years of experience they have and what are all the skills they have developed based on their experience i have worked in this particular company for about 8 years so i have a good administrative skill so like that they can include a point in their self introduction so they are same thing other than that they have the same just like the freshers name place family details educational qualification but then they have the work experience and skill sets skill sets are nothing but the skills they have developed out of the experience they have gained so these are all the details which the experienced candidates are supposed to include while giving their self introduction so i hope the first question is clear to all the next second question what are your strengths the interviewer wants to know how far you have a better knowledge about yourself how far you have a good understanding about yourself so by then you should be able to understand what are all the strengths you have within you so what are all the strengths you can list out you just sit calmly and think what are all the strength you have within you you can say that i am a quick learner whenever someone teaches me something new i am good at learning it i know how to learn it quickly yes i am very punctual i know i am never late in my life if you give me a task to finish it on time i will finish it before the deadline i am very punctual in doing things friendly in nature i am very friendly with all yes i don't have any much enemies in my life i don't know i am having i am always having i will be filled with friends wherever i go whatever the situation and circumstances may be i am always filled with a lot of surrounded with a lot of friends next straight forward i am very straight forward i very open minded i will just speak whatever that comes to my mind yes i don't hide anything i am just outspoken you can tell the next helping tendency i have a good helping tendency to all i like helping people who are in need next i am good in managing time is i know how to manage time so that i can finish my work faster i am good at managing time everyone has just the same 24 hours in a day but i know perfectly how to organize it so that all my works can be done effectively so these are all some of the strengths which you can include when you are going for your interview the next what are your weakness interviewer also wants to know what are all the weakness within you so you can admit your weakness there's no need that you have to hide if you have some weakness you can admit it so it shows that you have quite straight forward and outspoken so what are all the weakness you have to include very sensitive sometimes i very sensitive you can say the next i am lazy in doing things there are certain things which i am not interested if someone forces it upon me i will become quite lazy i am lazy in doing things which i am not interested next readiness to help someone who asks for help helping tendency helping tendency is strength and at the same time it is also a weakness because everyone may not be needing a genuine help from you someone may be taking an advantage of you say he or she is very much ready to help everyone so why don't we approach him so there may be many fake people around you they may be utilizing you or taking advantage of you so helping tendency is a strength and at the same time it is a weakness also so we have to be very careful in identifying the people around us whether they are real or fake next making good decisions quick decisions sorry quick decisions so making quick decisions is also a strength at the same time it is also a weakness also quick decisions sometimes may lead to adverse consequences quick decisions is always it cannot be always right yes sometimes it may lead to some negative consequences also you might be thinking i should have given a second thought i just hurried over it i just rushed over it i just made a quick decision i have made a blunder in my life many times quick decisions will also lead to wrong outcome so we have to be very careful in it the next credulous in nature some people will be very credulous 
credulous means believing whatever other people says so it is quite easy to cheat such people they will believe whatever other people tell them so that's what we call as credulous in nature so these are all some of the weakness which you can list out one or two no need to list out everything just one or two which suits you so i hope you were able to understand this question next why do you choose to work in our company or institution you may have choose some other company but why did you choose to work in our company interviewer wants to know or he will be very curious to know what is the reason behind this so by then what are all the things what are all the points you can include while answering this question showing up the knowledge about the workplace you just tell them about what are all the things you know about that particular company so before attending the interview just browse and google about when the company started who are all their competitors in what are all the projects they are working what is their year and will turn over like this you google certain informations you just know about their company and then go for the interview only then you will be able to answer these questions appraisal of the company's reputation you just tell what are all the new platforms and opportunities they are providing for the freshers yes that's why i chose your company you can list out next your answers should impress the interviewer the way you speak about their company should impress the interviewer so he or she must believe okay he had known a lot about our company so i think definitely he or she is interested in it they should get that impression in their mind the next last give goal oriented replies you can tell that by joining in your company or being recruited in your company i can easily achieve my long term goal because you are providing that much platforms for us so like this you can include relevant points for this question so next why should i give you this job a very interesting question which the interviewer may ask you why should i give you this job tell me in what way you are fit for this job so for this question candidates they have to do a self marketing of themselves as they have to just prove them how far they are worthy enough to get this job so what are all the points they can include in it express your academic caliber freshers can go for this point you can tell how far a good and outstanding student you were when you were doing your college what sort of good percentage you have what are all the skills and talents you have developed in your 3 year 4 years of college life you can include everything in this and for experienced person they can expect their work experience i have worked in the past two companies for about 12 years so i have gained a lot of experience so out of the experience i have a lot of talent within me if you select me i can implement all the talent and skills for the growth of your company so like this they can give a relevant reply for this question so express your desire related to jobs so desire related to jobs means you can say that how much passion you have for your job how much passion or how much attached you are to your job you, you should say that i am not doing hard work i am just doing a smart work i love my job i have to tell you how far you are attached and close enough to your job by listing out all these points you can prove the interviewer that you are the worthiest candidate to get the job okay i hope you are able to understand this question next why did you quit your previous job interviewer will be very curious to know the reason behind uh, why you quit your previous job so for this question at once the candidate should not get scared so why he or she is asking such a question to me so what sort of reply you can give for this first don't overthink just give a very short and neat reply first thank the previous organization where you worked earlier thank them for all the experiences they have provided you so thank them you know what are all the ways they have equipped you equipped because they might have molded you by giving you a lot of task so how far they enabled you in giving you a better experience so thank your previous organization and one more thing never pass any negative comments or negative criticism about your previous organization speak only positive about them yes thank them appreciate them for what are all the things they have done to you then they may be asking you you are just thanking your previous organization then why did you quit your job so what are all the reasons you can list out for that express politely how it doesn't match with your credentials you can tell that uh, actually my long term and short term goal is completely different and the opportunities and the platforms which they provided for me is not quite enough i need something more than that 
I look, I'm looking for more opportunities, which I think only your company is doing it for me. Next, you can say that I had been working in the previous company for more than 10 years. So I thought I needed change in environment. It's quite monotonous for me. So that's why I'm looking for a job change. Like this, you can come up with simple reasons. Only thing you have to remember, never blame or criticize your previous organization. I hope this question is clear to all. So what are your salary expectations? A very interesting question. How much salary do you expect? So here I would like to give two types of replies. One is for freshers and the other one is for experienced candidates. How a fresher is supposed to answer this question? Freshers offer salary according to company norms and pay scale. For example, if a fresher is getting selected means if an interviewer is asking how much salary you want, by that time the freshers should say, Sir, just provide me a salary according to your company norms and pay scale. In your company, for this particular posting, they will have a norms, how much salary they should provide. So you just give me the salary according to your company norms. So this should be the reply of freshers. And what about the experienced candidates? So experienced candidate, they can come out with a particular amount. They can say I had worked in a particular organization for about 8 years and I have been receiving around 40,000 from them. So I expect you to give 45 above. So like this, they can come out with a solid amount because experienced candidates, since they have the experience, they have the right to claim for more salary expectations. They can claim for a much larger amount, which the freshers are not supposed to do. Okay. So I hope uh, you are able to follow. So thanks for listening patiently to all the questions and answers which I have been explaining to you. I hope this video is clear to all. So all the very best to all the viewers who are watching this video. I wish you all a very best to get the dream job you all aspiring for. Thank you.